Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Choose to Lose campaign. The campaign where we're trying to beat the game with niche builds, less classes, less items and of course stronger enemies, less hit points as well. Strong enemies through ABA and ABC, a better advent and a better chosen. Today it's time for Operation Blood Beast and I would call it Operation Blood Bath because that's what's going to be. We gotta neutralize a target, aka uh, just, yeah, dark VIP escort. And we're going to get a big chunk of intel and even more supplies, which is why we're, of course, going to go into it. Main team, Reckon Up, Primos, Wurz, Quickly, Frodo, and Rabbit. We got all of the magic gear with us. The new uh, item is the Serpent Suit. Finally, Jessica can take the high ground and hopefully I can use the nice little death from above here. I'm even considering to a degree if that grappling suit and wards would be a nice combination. I've never had a heavy uh, kind of running the serpent suit but maybe maybe in this run because we wanted to do something niche. Um, how about giving her these, uh, the serpent suit later in the game and or or the uh, Wrath suit, and then she can essentially take the high ground because she has death from above that might make up for a couple of really cool moves. Um, maybe she even gets the Wrath uh, suit. That'll shorten us uh, with one more um, explosive, but then again it was never about her explosives. Um, she was all about the gun. I think with her abilities she had targeting yeah she had volatile mix so I guess it was a bit about the explosives but mostly about the gun shall I say and yeah that's uh, that really looks like a decent build on her if uh, we could pull it off I think it would be nice because I've never seen kind of an uh, grenadier play that aggressive in the front line with a lot of mobility uh, so I'll potentially try that. And our main crew lands right in the middle of what in no the hell is that? Menace one five, target location confirmed. Move to engage. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Ooh. That's one of those nice new burger signs. But if you're starting here. Ooh. Well that looked terrible. Anyways, we gotta get the VIP out of here. It's apparently not a dark VIP, but an actual VIP mission. No, it's a dark VIP, elsewise the guy would be in the in the cell. So let's use the little bit of concealment that we do have, which is with quick feed. Charge up and try to kind of get that high ground i would say it's going to be an interesting mission move into position accessing system what kind of hack could we get recover elite on an alien facility that would be fantastic but wow 9% I think we're going to do that once we're on our way out of here. I'm compelled to agree. Let's really sprint in as far as reasonable. Good. We're of course incredibly clumped up. Not that we're, uh, I hope that we're not going to be spotted out. But yeah, my my goal is to get onto the high ground here. Yep, and that would work fantastic. Still nothing, which 
which is interesting. Let me first of all check if this, if we're still, if we're still having nothing. Okay. Good. We're moving up. Father really outdid himself, didn't he? <laughs> and of course. But guess what? By simply spotting uh, the serpent suit, they already started pissing their pants. Definitely time for an overdrive. This one here is disabled for now. starting with removing these guys' cover. Oh, he fell into full cover. Oh, really? Give me a break. Well, we could position ourselves over here. Take a couple of good shots. Could also be more aggressive over here. Which eventually will give us a better angle. Okay, so that does not look too bad. Frostbite takes uh, the Viper out, so both of them are done for now. And let's try to get that mutant, shall we? Fantastic, death from above triggers. And we could hand over a teamwork uh, to our specialist. Quartz is moving up. These vipers are taken out. Let's start to hit the Archon. It was a hit, but unfortunately we he dodged. Making sure that that uh, that the guy is being dealt with. Moving over. Time to hit the Archon. That's some solid damage. Unfortunately, he dodges again, which is lamentable. Time for some teamwork. Come on, boards. And finally, there is the kill. Got some unplaceable, which will help us to move up so that we can move in next turn. Or well, we could take the high ground, which is what I really would want to do. But that requires us to like move around here. 
Well, that's not bad. I mean, we need to collect the loot anyways. Viper is eventually burning and frozen at the same time, however, that works. And of course... The Advent Captain nearby would make an ideal target for the Skulljack. There is a Grenadier over here. Holy shit, I don't want to deal with that guy. Ooh, okay, well... Well, well, friends. Did he really have two shield bearers with him? That is almost imbalanced. Okay, I think we're trying to remove cover, and that's about it. Sometimes you just gotta take the best available move and go with it. In this case, it's simply cover removal. Nice little volatile mix. My biggest problem is the guy right behind here. We could take a high ground, but that would mean we're no longer seeing anyone. All right, and off we go. Let's get a bit closer. Let's set up the Advent Officer first. That I kills it. We will potentially kill the Viper with the death, a death from above. Too much armor. Let's pull that dem uh, demolist out of cover. All right, makes sense. Let's rock. Good, so far we've done reasonably well. Oh, there are still a couple of things that we need to do. The... Oh, wow. <laughs> if the bolt cut, uh, caster hits, it hits well. This guy might might flee afterwards. All right, that was solid miss. Ninety six percent. I don't have blade storm. Can't really hit him with that. It's a small chance to actually crit, but yeah, not going to happen. Down here. And of course, we're going to see some poisoning. You gotta love it. Alright, 
first of all, get out of the poison. Secondly, shotgun to the face because it always works. It's just such an effective tactic. Thirdly, let's start shredding this guy. Okay, that worked as well. Alright, our positioning worked quite well during uh, this encounter. Moving up. On the move. And we got another Elarium core, that's fantastic. Plus some more intel if needed. I'm on it. Moving to high ground, that is great. One more turn and uh, Jessica can theoretically pull up. We're not going to jump down. Well, you know, we could position our... Ah, no. Um, quick feet is poisoned, and that means he's he can infect others. You gotta hate doing these uh, things, wasting teamwork Together, we are strong. just to make sure that the poison stops. Poison's a nasty uh, effect, It'll also right. the debuff and the will damage that it'll take due to the damage over time ticking every single round. It's just, it's just nasty. There's a pistol overwatch. I think there's uh, there are potentially still two or three more packs to go. But we got ten rounds so far. We're doing absolutely well. The evacuation was over here, so it's not looking too bad. Preparing my weapon. Quick feed oh, regains his conceal. Might as well start to scout. And so far, nothing we found the mark. out of the ordinary. Okay, cool. Might as well move all the way over here. Yeah. Okay. Unnecessary that the dark VIP starts to run around. I'll take the high road. Rolling. You know what? We're positioning ourselves there because if something comes from here. We're more than capable of um, picking them up. Surely there's a more difficult task to cover now. Good copy. Moving on target. I've got eyes on advent position. Well, and there we are. These little stinkers. This mutant here looks somewhat special. I can't really put my finger on it, but the color coding is a bit off. Advent Assault, Advent Sharpshooter, Mutant Infector. Ugh. The Assault looks like a stun lancer with a shotgun, Sharpshooter looks like a sharpshooter, and the Infector looks like someone who potentially has acid damage. Interesting combination. Uh, 
All right, so free reload. No great targets. Might as well kill zone. Moving completely away. On the move. I'm spotted. Nah. That is no, it's unfortunately too exposed. I was hoping that we uh, could find a good uh, spot, but it is too exposed. Alright, we got another kill zone. position ourselves over here full cover and they will need to run in every single one of them will take multiple shots that's a nice little hit Kill zone over kill zone. All right. Enemy down. Did he just use a smoke grenade? Okay. Fantastic. Weapons burning ammo fast. Good. We're moving up. I really want to get that sniper out of his cover. Not sure why exactly I can't grapple anywhere. Scanning protocol. I want to make sure that he has turned invisible or anything. Nope, he's still standing there. So we got ourselves a target there. And how much is the... Oh yeah, okay, so defensive smoke minus 20% on top of his already existing high cover. Sniper definitely did a fantastic job this time. Oh, and all of a sudden we can grapple again? Sure. Totally makes sense. Not sure why exactly I wouldn't be able to grapple beforehand, but okay, cool. Highlights, 
in this particular case was the double kill zone. I will call it double whammy from now on. Status confirmed. Target package in custody. These hands were a bit clumsy. Perfect timing now to, to have a nice little reload. Good. Next turn, we're going to see the reinforcements. And funnily enough, they are coming quite close. Let's take the VIP. Let's charge. And let us I will go. position on high ground and a lot of overwatches, of course. Position confirmed. Affirmative. Covering there. Overwatch, 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 and another overwatch. So that's five overwatches. I did not directly jump onto uh, the squad because they often draw purifiers. That's a hit and a miss and a hit and a hit. And another hit. Target neutralized. Efficiency is my speciality. I'll be down to just fish soon. Did they just kill all of them? Where's the third one? No. Lance is still there. I was about to say. Well, guess what? That's affirmative. I got shotgun to the face times two. Yep, take your time, dear civilian. No need to rush. Target neutralized. A long run. Copy that. All right. Time for everyone to move out. That was a fun mission. And we even got quite a few turns left over. We got some more time. Putting them down. Let's put the unit down. We can pick it up in a bit. And let's move over Moving here, which should location. be close enough to hack the tower. Time to carry the unit. You will cooperate. And one more turn. There we go. Time to hack. And there is still that slim chance for, I think, an alien facility. Well, it was a chance. Spaces. 
It would have been too uh, too great if we get a facility lead on top of all of the other stuff. And there we go. I think we got at least two promotions, if I saw it correctly during the mission. Three even, and that is so de so well deserved. So another captain, which is great. And that's a funny one. So is going to be implacable or is going to be blade uh, blade storm. Normally I always go for Implaceable, but I also love going for Bladestorm, so either way it, it's really a strong tier, so no matter what I pick, it will be a good pick. I think for now we're going uh, for Bladestorm, because without Blade Master it's the worst pick. But then again, Choose to Lose is a bit of a different type of run. Hmm. Yeah, normally I... I mean, that's really a strong tier. Normally, I love going shotgun to the face and then implacable to go back. I suppose with that, I would go blade storm. I suppose uh, I I value implacable just a tiny bit more than blade storm. Anyways, we got uh, our lead investigator here. Reckoning isn't bad, it's a melee attack, and Waylay isn't bad either. I typically go Reckoning, I, to be entirely honest, I typically go neither of them, because the other abilities are being selected first, but if I had to take one, Reckoning would be my first priority, because it allows you to also reposition and deal damage, just like the other Pulls and um, pulls and pushes, or if you're pulling um, yourself next to an enemy, you can slash again. And it's fantastic together with Blade Storm. Anyways, Wele is uh, going to be the uh, the the way to go. It'll allow us to do two Overwatch shots. I mean, that is nothing to really write home about. And I guess we're going to take Saturation Fire on top of it. What I really like about Saturation Fire is it just creates that cone and also removes some of the cover. And on top of it, it deals AoE damage, so that's absolutely fantastic. Okay, here we I'm typically taking Guardian just for the overboard shot on and on and on. With the Bolt Caster, Guardian would also be shit. Uh, but uh, mm, w w we want to take the worst ability ever. Vigilant is definitely the worst ability from both, from these two. With a bolt caster together, ever, ever vigilant uh, would actually be the better choice. But we're not uh, mm, uh, judging it based on our equipment. I'm strictly taking the skills that I typically tend to avoid, and cannot take the ones that are the top picks. Uh, Vigilant is worse than Guardian, but it gives us something to do in case we're sprinting, I suppose. And Frodo is now a major. That means one more promotion and we finally have that sweet, sweet Colonel tier. Uh, Reckoner is also a major, I figured. continue to bolster the resistance movement well that worked well I am quite happy the outcome was just as I expected facility lead is great we're going to get that in a second but I want to finish the radio relay to get technical analysis and then we're going for the facility lead facility lead will give us the option to spot out one of uh, the other facilities and that means we can slow down our expansion just a tiny bit we got the shadow keeper fantastic are we still producing something i think we went to ammunition now yeah experimental ammunition long live the resistance good tactical analysis such an important ability 
potentially the strongest continent bonus of all of them. It just completely changes the game. I'm happy that we've uh, that we gotten our hands on it. Good. One thing that we could do now that we do have the shadow, uh, the shadow uh, bolt weapon. Yeah, Shadow Keeper. We can enhance it. I think that's more than fair. That way it actually deals some more damage. Having never stepped foot in one of the city centers, I've never actually And we got Brigade of Blood, which means at the end of the month we're get it, we can take that uh, extra uh, resistance order and with it we will be able to have that extra agent joining us i think we wanted to have pcs's next which is this one here promotion and using the pcs's indefinitely i think we're going to take rakana onto it that promotion will boost him uh, to colonel rank And we do not want anyone uh, wounded, so might as well take a squaddy with him. Eight more, eight more days, and the promotion is... I didn't want to use too many promotions from here, because it always feels a bit cheesy to get to a colonel. But Major to colonel is a long-ass time, and he just recently got promoted, so this will be a fantastic upgrade. At the same time, since we have quite a few upgrades now, what could we do? This one here is good for shotguns. Just extra damage is fantastic. 10% uh, crit for snipers isn't bad either. That is not so hot, but okay. Explosives can deal critical damage is great. And well, that is okay. I, I mean, parkour is it's okay. But yeah, that extra damage for flanking is great. And I'll leave a couple of supplies left over, just in case we need something. But yeah, eventually we'll we'll get all of the class upgrades now. So, what are we dealing with? A hidden event that we don't know. We'll be able to see the entire mission, but it's also very difficult. Uh, that one here stinks. We don't want alien facilities. A captain specialist would be nice, but... I think we need to prevent uh, the facilities from being built. I'm actually selecting it based on the uh, on the dark event. And getting that extra intel would be helpful as well. We can then make contact over here. And make contact uh, down there. So yeah, we could expand further and even contact in West uh, Western Europe. Maybe we're, we'll start with Western Europe because those 20% uh, uh, we don't have a laboratory, but we could build one. And then plus 20% research will allow us to catch up with the research. We're a bit shy on the research overall, so maybe the right play here would actually be now that a radio relay is open. 13 days, go for a laboratory here. It's not necessarily a lab rush, uh, but since we can't build the Psi facility anyways, might as well go for it. And then have that uh, con uh, continent bonus for some more scientists because we still have quite a bit of research that we need to do it's already august so whenever i uh, i see that we're getting deeper and deeper into the campaign and we're a bit behind on the research then it's uh, then it's a a good sign 
that laboratory might speed uh, speed that up and just help us to catch up okay other than that i think pretty straightforward to be entirely honest we haven't really researched anything groundbreaking the experimental ammunition is great i think that that is good could go for another grenade afterwards or we're going for the battlefield medicine for once i like those odds here question is is it worth it an exosuit before we've upgraded our armor to the highest tier war suits um, are definitely worth it at the moment i don't think that we really need it we have a lot of explosives and we don't even have enough um, experimental heavy weapons so that's potentially something that we should get next uh, so that we could also get that exosuit because we don't want uh, the uh, rocket as a duplicate we wanted uh, some flamethrowers if i'm not mistaken so might as well go for the experimental heavy weapon and uh, the exosuits but that is for another uh, episode for now we're fine thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoy the content leave a comment and a like down below and uh, don't forget to continue in two days bye bye